Hey guys, my name's Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're in the 2019 and up Ram 1500 new body. Today I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to install the integrated trailer brake control module. This is for those of you who have electronic brakes on your trailer, very easy install. We also paired with obdgenie.com to bring you a programmer so you can program your BCM at home to enable everything. The installation is very easy. I'm gonna to demonstrate today how easy it is. But basically we're going to install this little switch in this location right here. And then up under the steering column, we're going to install the module. Now, the great thing about this in the Ram trucks uh, is everything is pre-wired. So it makes it very, very easy to install. And then as I mentioned, the OBD Genie programmer takes about 20 seconds and it programs the BCM to enable everything. So let me show you guys how it works. All right, the first thing we wanna do is remove the center stack here. There's only two screws that hold it in place. So you go ahead and remove those. Once you do that, now the rest of this is just held in with retaining clips. So this particular vehicle has the UAA option code radio. It doesn't matter what radio you have in here, that's fully compatible, it's just going to install right here. So at this point, you can use a pry tool and kind of go around the perimeter and pull up on the clips, or you can kind of just muscle it out. Once you do that, you could just pull it back and just disconnect all the cables that are in the back. So push in the tabs and pull it out. All right, now on the back side of your panel, there's gonna be two Torx screws right here. So we went ahead and removed those two Torx screws. Now we're gonna use a pry tool to remove this module down here. So what I like to do is kind of put it on the edge and just pry up on these little, these little um, clips or levers here. Meanwhile, kind of pushing down where the connector is. So there's two at the top and two at the bottom. So after you remove those two screws, this comes out. All right, now what we need to do is we need to remove this piece right here. So basically, if you stick a screwdriver kind of up under in here, you'll notice there's a clip right in here and a clip right in there. And then you can also pull up on these clips here. But basically, this here, this here, and then the two on the bottom here you need to lift up on this and then pull it out. So you kind of got to work with it for a minute. Use a little screwdriver, uh, be patient, kind of work around the perimeter. You see the two up here and the two down there, that's what you're after. So once you do that, you could just pop in the trailer brake controller. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop it back in You'll hear it clip in, and then we can reinstall our two Torx screws on the top. We can now set this aside. Okay, as I mentioned, the vehicle is actually pre-wired. So what you'll notice on this loom here, you're gonna notice a connector with a little red thing on it that's going to be for your trailer brake controller. Okay, so come in here and take the tape off of this. This is going to plug into what we just installed. Now, um, don't get it confused with this one. This one plugs into the climate control. It's going to be the one that's taped back. So this is going to be the one that's going to plug into the little mod, the little um, controller that we just put in. All right, so we're lightly going to peel this tape away. Here's our pre-wired harness. So now we can go ahead and um, install the module underneath. The other set are located right back there, which we'll grab from underneath. All right, to access those two wires or those two connectors, we're gonna go ahead and lower our knee bolster and remove it. And that's where our module is going to be installed. So go ahead and remove the two screws at the bottom. and then lightly just pull down 
on the knee bolster. The rest of it's just held in with retaining clips. If you have um, automatic temperature control, there will be a connector right here. And then you're gonna have two connectors over here. One for the light. Push the clip in, pull it out. Clip for this is right here. And then over here, push in on the OBD connector and go ahead and bring that out. That'll give you enough room now to come in here and play to install the bracket and the module. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to install the bracket. Now the bracket goes right back here. You line up the top there. It kind of goes in at diagonally. So you have a little nut to put in right down here. You'll have one to put in right here. And then one down here as well. So make sure you got the right ones located. All right, just so you can see them, we have one here, one here, and then one right there. They just kind of pop into place like that. All right, we have it installed. Went ahead and put a screw down there, a screw down there, and one more up there. So above the bracket is where our wiring is. You can see it's taped back, two connectors. So we're just gonna cut that back. All right, we went ahead and cut the tape around the wiring. Uh, this obviously is pre-wired for the trailer brake control module. So we can set that aside. Now we need to install our module. It's got three notches on the left and then one on the right. You're gonna put the three in on the left side of the bracket first and then snap it into the one on the right. All right, now that it's installed and clipped in, we can install our two connectors in here. All right, now that those are clipped in, we can now install our knee bolster. All right, now we can put our center stack back in. I'm gonna start with the connector that we um, cut back, that was taped back, that's for the controller. That'll plug in first. And then just plug everything else in the way you took it out. Just double check and triple check you have everything plugged in. Then simply slide it back into place, pop it in, and reinstall your two screws. Now that we have the dash all buttoned up, our modules in place, uh, our screws back in, we can go ahead and run the Genie programmer. All right, to install the OBD Genie tool program into the new body Ram 1500 2019 and up, the first thing we're gonna do before we run this fob in the OBD2 port, we're gonna plug in the security gateway module bypass. Now the gateway module is located just behind the headlamp switch. You can access it from underneath. So basically there's two plugs plugged into the gateway module. We just have to disconnect those two plugs and temporarily plug them into here. These are the two plugs. The module's located right behind here. Simply plug those two plugs into the bypass. Like that. Now we're gonna put the vehicle in the run position and plug in our Genie programmer. You'll see a series of lights. What we're waiting for is the solid green light. We do see the solid green light, so now we can remove it. It'll no longer be needed. All right, we shut the vehicle off. Now we're going to disconnect the two plugs we plugged into the bypass. And we're gonna plug these two plugs back into the gateway module. All right, this now completes the OBD Genie programming process. You can now stow these away. You will not need them anymore.
All right, now that we ran the programmer, we're going to go ahead and fire up the truck and check it out. So whether or not you have this radio or the larger ones, you're going to want to get into the settings menu and go to trailer brake. And this is where you could set up up to four trailers. You could select trailer number one. You could use it, figure out what type of brake you want to set it as. Call it something. Whether it's you want to call it trailer one, you can call it boat, car, cargo, uh, whatever. All these different ones you can choose from. And you could set it up as a profile. So when you get in your truck and you have a new trailer on, you can just select the one that you desire. All right, now on the cluster, even though we upgraded to the full digital cluster in this particular RAM, it's the same with the base model cluster too. Come down to number five and you can have a trailer trip and you can also see your gain. So as you press the brake, you can see how much percentage you have going to that particular trailer. You can adjust your gain on the controller that you recently installed. We do this upgrade and so much more at infotainment.com. Not only the front headlights, but also the taillights, the LED version, which looks really cool. Um, furthermore, the fog lamps, you can go from the halogen to the LED. And then another video we have, we show you how to install the LED bed lights. So you're really surrounding the outside of the vehicle with the latest technology. On the inside of the vehicle, we do so much more. We do the digital cluster upgrade, so you can go from the base model to the full digital cluster. Uh, we do every single factory radio upgrade that RAM offers, whether it's this radio here with just satellite radio, or you can go to the 8.4 inch UAM option code, which includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The UAV option code, which includes uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and built-in navigation. Then, of course, the awesome upgrade, the 12 inch, which includes everything. That's a cool upgrade. Uh, other things we do, we do power folding mirrors. We do blind spot monitoring using all factory parts engineered right here by infotainment.com. What about cat skin leather seating? We do that as well. We also show you guys how to install it. Come over to our website, infotainment.com and check us out.